Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How would you edit a already deployed SSRS report? Um, so they are talking about a report is already deployed to the report server and you have to make some changes. So there could be two scenarios. One scenario when you have deployed the report to the SSRS server or report server and uh, there is no copy saved on local folder or team foundation server or version control software so the only option you have at that point is you will be going to the report and click in here and go to edit in report builder so once it open the report builder you will make the changes and save the changes to the report so it is opening right now give it a second now this is our report let's change the background color so i would like to have a light green and here instead of that i'm going to change uh, to the blue so our report is all good now and we will hit save button uh, and that's how we'll make the changes uh, to the report by using the report builder and uh, redeploy or save on the report server so you can see the changes are saved on the report server now i would like you to tell them hey if you have uh, this situation where you have uh, haven't saved any reports in local folder or uh, uh, TFS or version control software, this is a good time to take the backup, uh, download this uh, report uh, and save into the TFS uh, Team Foundation server or any version control software the company is uh, using. Uh, because uh, if something goes wrong with the report server, uh, uh, you don't have. Uh, these reports saved anywhere and uh, uh, or other way around is you are taking the backup of a report database on regular basis so uh, any company you are working is best practice so whatever the code you write it's always good idea to check in in version control software so, so you can see the history you can uh, make the changes and uh, uh, from there you can take uh, any copy and uh, put into the QA put into the uh, UAT and finally make changes uh, to the uh, script or report or SSIS package and deploy to the production. Now that's the second scenario where uh, your company has the TFS uh, or uh, uh, your company has uh, any version control software and uh, what we can do we will check out of the report uh, from that uh, uh, version control software so think about this report I have checked out to my local folder and I would like to make changes uh, to this uh, report so first of all instead of using the report builder that's more like business users uh, interface and they use uh, to create the report and uh, developers use SSDT SQL Server Data Tools so open SSDT go and create a new project and here we will be creating SSRS project so create that one so you select SSRS or reporting services here then select report server project provide the name and where you would like to save those reports and hit OK the next part is you can add that report here so I'm gonna go ahead and add that report so I'm going to the folder just making a copy here the next part I will come back here and just paste it here okay and I don't see the paste button right here that's uh, weird I need to paste my report I can use control V and that will work just fine so if I will do that let me see it's right here so I did control V now double click and open that report and uh, you can see the report is uh, here let's make some changes now I want to instead of bold I don't want the bold I don't want the italic and I want the underline and also let's change uh, the color for the text and uh, how about uh, making some more changes Arial instead of that uh, let's use this one now you save it and build so we don't have a shared data source here so we can't really test our report it's a good idea at this point I will say go ahead and create a shared data source so you can test your report so you can see from here let's say this is the the data source and if you double click here it will tell you it is pointing to data source doesn't really tell you which 
um, server it is pointing to so you have sales database some information is there so I'm sure at this point you know that this report is extracting data from which server and all so let's go ahead and create a, a data source here so I'm gonna call this one share data source in our case is sales and now I would like to make a connection so I can test at least my report and here I have the SQL server I need to use the server name so by using this uh, global variable I can extract uh, the server name come back here and provide this one and I know it is sales database test that part out hit ok now we are good and now we can even preview our report now from here you have two things to do one one you can deploy the report by yourself if you have the permission and uh, even you do have a uh, permission I will suggest you to take this report uh, you go here press F4 and then uh, that's where the report is uh, saved so once you hit a uh, build uh, it's going to save, save all the changes build the project for you go to run and from here I will just take this copy and put into TFS so let's, let's say this one so if you go to debug and this report in the bin folder this is build and every change is saved here I, rec I will uh, suggest you check in this uh, copy back to the TFS or any version control software so you would know that all the changes are done next part uh, tell your DBA hey I have checked in the report uh, in this location uh, and you need to deploy to this uh, server maybe the QA server at this point and then uh, once uh, the users will verify the changes and everything looks good then you will deploy to UAT and finally your DBA will be uh, deploying the report to the production uh, but think about that maybe you have the permission to on one of the dev server and you would like to deploy from here so how you can do it you're gonna go ahead and first of all you will go to the project properties and here you have to provide the information so target report server and folder so that's what we need to provide here is the URL so I'm gonna go ahead and this is the URL so not the report manager URL so we will be providing a report server URL so in our case it is the I'm gonna copy this one and show you this one here somehow my control V is not working that great and uh, here it's called a report server so it look uh, it is a directory structure so when you open a report server URL you will always see the directories and you will not see the interface like this this is a report manager URL so with the report server you will have a probably you will have a report server in the URL name somewhere and then you will have see the directories so this is the URL we need to provide and also we need to tell which folder we should be deploying the report so let's go to let's say we would like to do the home uh, reports so, so I'm gonna go back here provide the report server URL and the uh, re target report folder reports and the data source is fine everything okay apply hit okay now you're gonna go ahead and right click and say deploy now the report is the deployed successfully you can see that right here and uh, go back to the report uh, manager and take a look so let's refresh and we see that report one is uh, here so at this point you might have to fix the data source and uh, in our case it was uh, already done we had only one data source here so if you need to fix it you can go to manage and in the manage you will have data sources and uh, from here you can provide uh, the data source name that your SSRS report is using uh, and then hit apply so just uh, cut this back very quickly we have two things uh, when uh, you have no backup or no TFS uh, and your reports are already existing on the report server so you will be using report builder to uh, make the changes on that server um, with the reports uh, and then just save those reports after making changes uh, by using the report builder I recommend uh, download those reports uh, and then put them in TFS or any version control software and the other way when your company has 
the report saved in TFS uh, always go to the TFS or version control software take the latest copy and uh, if you don't know which copy you need to take you can ask DBA or other developer who has worked on that report and the check out to your local folder once you check out the local folder open the SSDT SQL Server data tools add the report uh, to your new project uh, and then make the changes uh, and finally you can check back to the TFS or you can deploy to the report server if it if you have the permission and they have asked you to deploy the report so good luck with your interview question and I will see you guys in the next interview quest video